Are you fucking kidding me? I swear to God, nothing is sacred in this state. They just fucking cleared this. This was one of the nicest parcels because everything's private and Texas doesn't give a shit. Just one of, the whole southeastern corner of the fucking U.S. is one of the most just ecologically brain dead and tone deaf areas in the world. Well, not in the world, but <laughs> I mean, it's you got eight billion motherfuckers living on the planet. A lot of them don't give a shit. But especially Texas, especially the southeastern United States. This was so nice. There was this is Prunus Texana right here. Super rare, really cool Texas salmon. All right, got got a narrow distribution. You think it'd be the fucking pride of the state? Instead, no one knows about it. Very small minority of people that give a shit. Got our native grape, Vitus mustangensis. And anyway, they just cleared this. I don't even know why. They're probably going to sell it. They clear land here just to sell it. So fucking, they, God, it drives me nuts, man. They don't give a shit. You should see what they did to Austin. They fucked that area up. Anyway, there were a couple prunus here. Now there's only one. You need two. You need, you know, you need two to outcross. Obligate outcrossers. Now they're all gone. Maybe there's some, some more over there. That's fucking sad. I collected seed off this. Uh, when was it? Last year? Just germinated them. They need a hot stratification. They need a summer stratification. You put them in a pot in the spring, and then they germinate in the fall. Sow them in spring, they germinate in fall. Got Hymenopappus over here. Fucking weird composite. Asteraceae, sunflower family. Each one of those little white things is its own individual flower. I love this. That's a nice. That's a nice plant right there. Whole thing. The whole. The whole structure is a capitula. All right, and it's got a smell nice too. Look at those pink fused anther tubes. Facilia congesta. They're probably not even going to build anything here yet. They're just getting ready to sell it. God, it just makes me sick. It's a fucking death cult, you know? Maybe it was in the family for a few generations. The parents appreciated it. The parents died. The kids want the shiny shit. They're going to buy a new, you know, $60,000 truck that they're going to be sure to never scratch, never use for anything that's actually related to work. It might tug an RV or a boat. Besides that, it's going to be parked in the Best Buy parking lot, the Ross Dress for Less parking lot, Target, Costco, and then at work. And then in front of someone's suburban house. But you got to get that nice shit. You got to get that shiny shit so people think that you're the, you're the hot shit on the block. Just a death cult, man. God, it just kills me. It just, I, you, are you tired of hearing me rant about this? I could go on. Give me 45 minutes. I'll fucking, I'll keep going. It just, fuck, man. I, I can't, it, every, every fucking year it's something new. There's like a new part. The tumor just grows. It's going to pave the whole state. Except for a handful of rich freaks, billionaire rich freaks that own a bunch of land in West Texas. Everything else is going to be paved. Doesn't matter. There's not going to be any. I mean, it's just, it's, you're depriving future generations of the ability to experience any of this shit. It just fucking kills me. Fucking kills me. Anyway, there you go. Prunus Texana. Super rare, super cool. Native Texas almond. Endemic to the sand sheet. We're on the Carrizo Sands right here. Eocene Sands. You go further south, you're more on like the Aeolian Sands, the the, the uh, windblown sands. I'm done. I'm fucking done. <laughs> it's just like, God, what a fucking drag. It's for Elsieland Hymeri. So many cool plants. How many people know them? But everyone knows the Chick-fil-A logo, right? Slash some slimy factory farm chicken down your gullet. There you go. I just, I can't, I, when is this going to stop? What does it take? A comet? Huh? Am I talking? Is anyone listening? Nobody gives a shit. Look at Hymenopath. You seen it? Alright, that's all I got. Have a great day. They go fuck this away. Oh, that's nice. I found one more plant. One more. Look at that beautiful, look at the way to branch, look at that diverica branching, almost diverica branching, got them fuzzy stems, okay? Look at that, and you got that tooth margin to the leaves. See how it's kind of toothed like that? Normally you don't use leaves for identification, but a lot of members of Rosaceae, the rose family, the almond family, the cherry family, have that dentate margin on the leaf. They got a look to them, you know? This thing's adapted to the sand, a hot, drought-tolerant, member of uh, the genus Prunus, and there's that fruit. They are not ready yet, as I learned once I cut that open. All right, got another month. Got to come back here, got to collect seed. 
then sew it let it get that hot stratification also be careful because a lot of times there's western diamondbacks hanging out beneath these things look at that but they flowered already they got it done already god i loved it i love this i only know one or two people that grow it that actually have it in the ground in their yard i germinated seed i just put them immediately in the ground didn't want to mess around look at that branching that's beautiful prunus texana or texanus whatever the hell it's called texas the texas omen i think it'd be a point of pride but you know it just gets bulldozed a lot it's pretty rare uh, it, it, west of Austin, there's a population west of Austin that's kind of disjunct, uh, you know, since this is mostly a South, South Texas species. There's a population west of Austin that grows on that granite, that uh, quote-unquote enchanted rock is, name, is uh, you know, that enchanted rock. is Enchanted rock is the same granite. It's the same age. Really old-ass rock up there. Most of the rock in Texas is only 100 million years old or less. You know, up there, west of Austin, you got that granite. What is this stuff? Is this just Hymenopapus too? The granite's a lot older, right? An intrusive igneous body of Pluton. Look at it. You got them flocks pollinated by the butterflies. It's a tube with a narrow hole. Remember butterflies, moss, they got that proboscis that unwinds. Got a plantago right there with the fuzzy leaves. Some damn uh, lupinus. You got uh, this guy, Pyropapus, false dandelion. A native member of the chicory family. It's a stunner. See how it's got five teeth on the end of that, uh, what looks like a petal. It's actually illegal. Oh, there's a spider hanging out there. I don't want it. He's waiting for a meal. A lot of good stuff. The other little yellow flowers are uh, mustards. They're a native mustard. Physeria. See that with the bladder pod? See that? See that guy? Oh, this is a cool one. Almost looks like an elderberry. But look how glistening and glabrous them leaves are. And you crush it up, and it's got a nice smell to it because it's got them pellucid oil glands in the leaves. This is a species of Xanthoxylum, Citrus family Rutaceae. Pellucid oil glands is the synapomorph eater. And look at them flowers. Oh, there you go. Only two of those anthers started de hissing, the others didn't. They're not releasing pollen yet. Fancy bastard. Smells good. Like the video was supposed to be over five minutes ago, but check out this Delphinium. That's a fancy bastard, look at that. Ah, the Larkspur, as the, as the colloquial name goes, Ranunculaceae, the buttercup family, which is a, one of the more early branching, older, quote unquote, lineages of angiosperm. All right, an evolutionarily older lineage. Look at them, look at them anthers dangling down. Really cool flower morphology on these. A lot of members of this family can be poisonous though. Clematis is in this family, the quote unquote, buttercups are in this family, anemone. Etc. That's a nice look at the colors on it though. You got a little nectar spur in the back too. God damn. Oh, look at them leaves. See that? Divided. Palmate and divided. 